welcome back. One of the joys of being a filmmaker and making content for you on YouTube is when a subject comes up that I know nothing about, I can research it and then share it with you. So today we're going to ask a question about something I know nothing about and that is what is going on with the USA underground oil reserves? So, in the wake of the sad Saudi Arabian drone attacks on their oil refinery, and by the way, the pictures I think are very interesting. For me, as uh, somebody who likes to look at aerial photographs, you can see that it was a very targeted attack. It wasn't just like a bomb that blew up the refinery. If you look at this, it's like, Drone, boof, drone, boof, drone, boof, you know, all separate things. So whoever did it were pretty sophisticated. Hopefully the Saudis, maybe with some other help, can stop drone attacks happening again. But the real effect of that facility losing part of its production was a spike in crude oil prices. And hence, we're all expecting a spike in gasoline or petrol prices at the pump. So it turns out that the US and some other countries have deep underground storage facilities for oil. Now in the United States, they're all in Texas, the ones that I know about publicly, and wait for this, they hold 640 million gallons of crude oil, which, great statistic, would last the United States 90 days. That's a lot of oil that everybody uses. US politicians came up with the idea of having this emergency stockpile after the oil crisis in the 1970s, where, as we all remember, if you're old enough, there were queues at the gas station and um, it actually reduced people's driving, which in my opinion is a good thing, but it was a crisis. So how do you build an underground crude oil storage facility to hold millions of gallons of crude oil. Well, turns out that they are man-made and these pictures are just brilliant. They're all pretty secret, but some of them are captioned US and some are captioned other countries. But I think the same technology applies. They tend to use man-made salt caverns, which can be hollowed out and then filled with crude oil. Um, the weight of the oil and the pressure stops it leaking into the rest of the rock. And you know, obviously oil is from the ground anyway, so maybe it's okay, but certainly you wouldn't want to fall down there. The largest is called Brine Mound near Freeport in Texas and it holds 254 million gallons. Good on Texas. So I asked the obvious question, how much does the average American use in crude oil per day? And the answer is 20.5 million gallons a day divided by the American population. Whoa! Being a little bit political here, the current US president is proposing to counter the drone attacks on Saudi Arabia by using some of the US secret oil reserves. This was following a statement he made a year ago saying that he proposed selling it. Hmm, probably not a good idea. So when was it last used? Well, it turns out that George W. Bush allowed 11 million gallons to be used after Hurricane Katrina. I guess Hurricane Katrina had compromised some of the South Texas ports and the US wasn't getting its imports that it needed. So let's end with some amazing pictures of these underground facilities being built. And remember, the truth is down there. Oh,